What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a special Real Time with Naeem Chaudhary, where I'm keeping it real all the time. I want to wish everybody a happy July 4th and Independence Day. So Real Time is here today to basically give my top 10 reasons and why I love our great country of the United States of America. So every country, obviously, you know, has basically its... You know, it's negatives and things that could be better. But overall, look, I've traveled around the world, you know, and I've, I've basically been to Asia, Europe, and honestly, I would never live any other place but then the U.S. of A. So my top 10 reasons. So let me go start with number 10. Number 10 would be entertainment. All the TV shows and movies you see, you know, that we, we see all the time. We, oh, when you go abroad, I mean, when I was a kid and I used to go visit my grandma in Bangladesh, I mean, I remember when Batman had come out. I mean, everyone would be, forget Bollywood, everyone wanted to see Batman, you know, uh, Rocky, you know, all the DVDs, movies, MacGyver, Thundercats. You know, and so, and Baywatch, obviously. <laughs> but American entertainment, I mean, it's loved worldwide, you know, and uh, I think that some of the uh, greatness of our country, it's this pop culture and how it influences, uh, you know, the world around us, you know. I mean, obviously, probably one of the most famous icons, Michael Jackson. You can go anywhere in the world and you say his name and play, beat it, and they'll be breaking it down verbatim when they don't speak English. Number nine reason I love America is its immigration. You know, we are a nation of different backgrounds, nationalities, ethnicities, and we all have a common bond of freedom, and that's being American. You know, my, my parents, you know, came here from Bangladesh in the early 70s, and, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to work there uh, in 2004, and, you know, I, I, I can understand and see, you know, what we a lot of times take for granted. And... Uh, you know, you know, yes, you know, sometimes we'll see discrimination and, you know, things where we think that, you know, we're not getting a fair deal. But honestly, I've been around the world and, you know, we got it pretty good. And the wonderful thing is that everyone, if you work hard, have equal opportunities, you know, and it's, it's, it's a wonderful place where you can you can make a life for yourself if you put your put, you know, basically put the work into it. Uh, number eight. I would say is technology. I mean, once again, America has given world the world motion pictures, the telephone, the television, the computer, the internet, the airplane, the VCR, the iPhone. And, you know, I know that people saying, well, you know, we're falling behind, we're falling behind, but, you know, we're, we're still on the top and one of the top. And, you know, as Americans, I think whenever we're challenged, you know, we always rise to the occasion, and I, I really believe that, you know, in the uh, next millennium, that, you know, in technology, basically, you know, us Americans, you know, we will, you know, exceed everyone's expectations that we always have. Number seven, creating wealth. You know, I've seen it myself, you know, the, we always hear, you know, uh, you know, kind of when we talk to our parents, they came here with $4 in their pocket, and, you know, and a bus ticket, but, you know, you know, some of that stuff is actually kind of true. I mean, you hear the great American story, and and it is possible here. I mean, yes, it's harder for some people to do it, and and there's probably obstacles, but just like anywhere else. But I've seen it myself with hard work, and you know, in, in my own life, you know, if you put your mind into something, you have a passion for something, you, you know, you can go to the top. I mean, that's just the beauty of this country. Uh, number six, I would say America's generosity. You know. You know, whatever strife, hunger, or anything going on in the world, you know, I, I really believe that, you know, America is always there on the forefront. Look what happened uh, in the tsunami in Japan, how Americans stood behind. We all get together. Uh, when Katrina happened, obviously, a government could have done something better. But 
the people of America all got together and basically, you know, did these telethons. And as a nation, we got together when any type of crisis is going on in the world. Number five, I would go to human achievement. I mean, the thing about America is we're, we're a country of, you know, inventors. I mean, going back to Thomas Edison, innovation, uh, you know, uh, people like Einstein, you know, uh, Bill Gates, you know, that everything here, you know, is we're always looking to make things quicker, better, faster, you know, and, and I think that the beauty of America is that we have so many people who have, you know, reached the level of this human achievement and, uh, uh, I believe that I think that we'll, ha we'll have many, many more. Uh, number five, the infinite possibilities. Uh, as we all saw, you know, in the election, uh, regardless who you voted for for president, you know, Barack Obama being the president of the United States, being the first African American, uh, you can go anywhere in the world. I mean, you you won't see someone of one ethnic group or some gender, but the fact is that after all the years of uh, you know, what minorities have gone through in this country, you know, it's, it's, I think the possibility of now telling your child and truly saying that my son or daughter can be president of the United States, you know, regardless of their orientation, religious beliefs, and uh, I, I think that's what really, really, you know, makes me love America a lot. Uh, number three, medicine. I'll tell you this, if I had a cancer or a heart condition, you know, I don't, I wouldn't go anywhere, I don't care what the cost, this is the place I want to get treated. You know, the innovation of technology, you know, and basically how our, you know, medical, uh, you know, our doctors, scientists, and, uh, you know, you, you when I was, uh, you know, working uh, in college, had a job by uh, the med center here in Houston, uh, Texas Children's Hospital, you know, I saw the king, one of the, one of the princes of Saudi Arabia, you know, driving uh, in, in this uh, motorcade and getting his kid treated. I mean, he can have all the money in the world, you know, but they come here, you know. So, you know, the beauty of this country is that we have the right people, you know, when you're physically in the time of need. And number two, democracy. You know, once again, you know, er, you know, everyone said, well, this could be better. But you know what? I've been around the world and nowhere in the, in those, in the world have I seen a better system where you know what where you can take the initiative and make a change you know we saw it in the election you know it's just everyone gets together and you want to put someone in office you know i mean a lot of times you know yes you know you have situations where you know the politicians you know they're politicians that they're you could say they're corrupt or whatever but i believe america to be to have the right people overall with the best interest at the end of the day uh, and number one, freedom. You know, I, 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 like I said, I've been around the world. I've traveled. In this country, I love the fact that the government cannot have a place in religion. You know, in being secular, it allows me to practice, you know, my religion in peace, live the way I want, work the way I want, and obviously but abiding by laws. But the freedom of this country, I think, is what draws Everyone in the world wants to be here. I mean, people can say what they want about America, but they want to be here. So, I mean, it's it's just th those are my top ten reasons. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful uh, holiday weekend. You know, hit up, you know, do the barbecue uh, and just just enjoy time with your family. And I want to thank all the you know brave men and women who've protected our country. And God bless you guys. And hopefully. Uh, you know, you guys have a great day.